Marhaban, assalamu alaikum. In this video, I will show you how to read with the long vowels, particularly the vowel alif. So how to read with the sound a, uh, just as in ba and ta. So we know the short vowels are a, u, e, and we have the long vowels a, u, e in Arabic. In this lesson, we can stand with the long vowel alif. So we're going to move from ba to ba when we add the vowel alif, and from ta to ta, and from tha to tha. Ja over here when we add the alif becomes ja, ha becomes ha, and kha becomes kha. Notice how the shape of the letters also changes when it joins the alif. So for the jim, ha, and kha, we lose the extension part here as it joins the alif. The da, the, ra, and za. These are naughty letters. That is, they're not going to connect over here on the left side with the alif. So da, the, ra, za, as compared to the ones before, which are friendly letters and they connect on the left. They don't have problems connecting with the alif to form the long vowel sound. Ta, ta, the, the, a, a, ga, ga. Also here, friendly letters and they're joining with the alif nicely. Fa, fa, qa, qa. The fa's got one dot, the qaf got two dots on top. Ka becomes ka, and notice how the shape of the ka changes when it's in the beginning shape and in the middle it will have this type of shape. This is in the standalone and ending shape over here. La becomes la, and when the la joins the alif, it has a unique shape. La means no, actually, on its own is a word that means no, la. So this alif here forms like a diagonal line. Ma becomes ma, na becomes na, ha becomes ha, wa becomes wa. And notice here, wow is a naughty letter and it's not going to connect to the alif from its left side. Ya becomes ya, and a will become a. So over here with the a, it's got like a hat on top. So it changes from the uh, Hamza to become a uh, hat shape over here. So in Arabic, we cannot write two as next to each other. Instead, we will have this shape. One alif with the hat on top. A. Ma hadha. What's this? Ma hadha. Can you try and read this one? Ba with the long vowel alif. So we know that this is a ba. But when it joins the alif, it becomes ba, b. So ba, bab, bab. Hatha bab. Notice over here, the ba is a friendly letter. It joins with the alif on the left, but the alif here is not a friendly letter. It will join from the right, but it's not going to join from the left here with the last. Ba. Ma hadha, the wall. 
ما هذا what's it called in Arabic so we've got here ha the letter ha in the beginning position with the alif so we know that it's a long vowel ha and then we've got a hamza sitting on its chair with a kasra anytime we see the hamza we know that we have to vocalize the glottal stop so it's an e so ha e and we have t at the end so ha and then we're going to read these two together it ha it ha it ha it that means a wall ha it the ta is the emphatic sound, not ha it, with like the regular ta that we know in English. It's a ta, ha it, with an emphatic sound. Ha the ha it. This is a wall. Ma hada, ma hada al-hayawan. What's this animal called? So he, we start with a ha with the kasra. It becomes he. Then we have the sad, sa. It's an emphatic sound like sun, sa. Not sa as in sand, for example, sa. So sa with the alif, sa. And then n, the noon. So hi, san. Hi, san. Hi, san. A horse, hi, san. Hada, hi, san. ما هذا؟ What's this animal? We have T, so the ta with the kasra, T. And we have M, a silent M with sukun. So anytime we have two letters, the first has a vowel and the second has sukun, we're going to try and read them together. So Tim, Tim, T and M, it becomes Tim. Tim, and then we have the scene. We know from the teeth here, it's the letter scene. Sa, so sa with the long vowel, with the alif. All of these letters are going to join nicely because they're friendly letters, but the alif is not going to join here with the ha because the alif is a naughty letter. It only joins on the right. It doesn't join on the left. So tim, sa, tim, sa. هذا تمساح ما هذا what's this a crow what's it called in arabic so we have this letter is the غو 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 with a dhamma so the letter غين غو غو and we have را را with the alif را and notice را is a naughty letter it's not going to join with the alif and we have the b at the end. So, gu, rab, gu, rab. Hada, gu, rab. This is a crow. Ma hada, ma hada. A cup. So we have the letter fa, but it's got the kasra, so we'll have the e sound, fi. And we have n, the noon with. Sukun or no vowel, silent. Ja with the alif ja and naughty letter, it's not going to join with the last noon. N. So anytime we have a letter and followed by another letter with sukun, we're going to try and read these two together. So fin, jan, fin jan, hada. Finjan. This is a cup. Ma hada. What's this? A key. Same thing. So we have me with a kasra vowel and we have a silent fa. So f. Me and f. So we're going to try to read them together. Mif. Mif. Ta with a long vowel alif. Ta. And h. So it's going to be miftah. Miftah. All of these letters are friendly, apart from the alif is not going to join with the ha. Miftah. Hada miftah. Ma hada. What's this? This is the holy book of the Quran. 
So in Arabic, قو, قاف with two dots on top, ضمة, vowel, and a silent r. So قر, قر, a silent ra, r. So قر, we're going to read them together. This is the long vowel, alif, a, Quran, Quran. هذا قرآن هذا قرآن ما هذه Now we're using a different word هذه And you're going to see why So mira in Arabic Is called mira Mi Mi with the kasra vowel R silent ra So we're going to read them together Mir Long vowel a Mir'a, this is in gray color. We're not going to pronounce it because we're posing. So the round ta, which looks like this shape with the two dots, like a smiley face. We don't pronounce this ta al marbuta, the round ta, in pause or at the end of a sentence. Unless there is a word after it. Then we're going to pronounce it. For example, هذه مرآة جميلة. For example. So in this case, we're just going to say مرآة. We're going to pretend that it's not here. So anytime we're posing or at the end of the sentence, we're going to ignore the round تا. Also, we said هذه, not هذا. Because this noun, the mirror in Arabic, is feminine. For masculine nouns, we use hada, hada as the demonstrative for the near, which means this for the masculine nouns. But for the feminine nouns, we use hadihi, hadihi for the feminine nouns. And the round ta in Arabic is a strong sign of femininity. So anytime you see uh, the round ta at the end of a word, uh, it's most likely a feminine noun. So it's going to be a feminine noun. So mir'a, we know from the round ta at the end that it's a feminine noun. So we say hadihi mir'a. We cannot say hada. Hadihi mir'a. This is a mira. So in Arabic, we distinguish between feminine and masculine nouns, not like in English and many other languages do and uh, for things there's no specific reason we just have to look for the signs of femininity like the round ta. Now for animals and insects uh, of course you will know by judging from the sex of the animal etc that it's uh, feminine, for example, baqara, cow, you know that it's feminine, so we're going to say hadhi baqara. But things like table, tawila, tawila has a ta marbuta at the end. Uh, that's how we know that it's feminine, not because it's um, male or female, it's a thing we cannot judge, but we just judge by the ending of the word. Ma hadhi, what's this? We know that we're going to have now a feminine noun because we used hadhi. Fa. So fa with the fatha vowel, ra with the alif, ra, and here we have the sha. The sha is different from the sa or the sin because it has three dots on top. And be careful not to confuse it with the tha, which has three dots on the top. How would you know that this is not a tha and this is a sha? Because it's got the three teeth, not just one tooth. It's got three teeth. teeth. So fa, ra. Sha, we're going to ignore this at the end, the round ta. Farasha. So the ta marbuta, the round ta, is not pronounced in pause or at the end of a sentence. Hadihi farasha. Unless, of course, there's a word after it. Hadihi farasha tun jamila. Then you're going to pronounce whatever diacritic you have at the end. There is a butterfly in the garden. We're going to have another feminine noun because we know from هذه. A clock or watch in Arabic is called. We have sa plus the alif. Sa. 
We have the ain a, the a sound, and we're gonna ignore the round ta. هذه ساعة ساعة. A watch or clock in Arabic is called ساعة. So not pronounced in pause or at the end of a sentence. هذه ساعة. Unless we have another word, we don't have a full stop. We have another word here. Let's say, and we have a double dhamma diacritic here. هذه ساعة جميلة, for example. Or هذه ساعة with one dhamma here. ساعة صديقي. This is my friend's watch. ما هذه? What's this? So a giraffe in Arabic is a feminine noun. هذه زرافة. And we know from the round تا as well that it's a feminine noun. ز را فا. And we're going to ignore this. So زرافة. زرافة. Notice here the za naughty letter and the ra and the alif are all naughty letters, the three of them. So they're not gonna connect on this side, on this side, and on this side. But the fa doesn't mind joining with the round ta over here. So they join nicely. Hadihi zarafa. Now we've come to the end and I'm going to ask you to try and recall the words without looking at, without having the pictures and try to use your reading skills now. What's this one? Bab. Good job. Now with this one, we're going to dissect it. Try to read this one first. Ha. It. Ha'it. Don't forget to vocalize the glottal stop. Ha'it. Hi. And then san. Hisan. Hisan. Good job. Now we're going to dissect this one. T and m. Tim. Sa. Tim sa. Tim sa. Gu and ra and b at the end. Gurab. A crow. And then the next one, a cup. Fi and n. Fin. Jan. Fin jan. The same thing over here. Mi and the silent f. Mif. Ta. Mif. Ah. This one, Qu with a silent ra, Qur, Quran, Quran. And this one over here, Amira, can you read this one? Me with a silent ra, Mir, Mir, A. We're going to ignore this one. Unless there's a word after it, then we're going to vocalize the ta. But as of now, it's just on its own. We don't really use tanween in uh, when we're just speaking about vocabulary. So mir'a. We don't really have to say mir'a ton. So just mir'a, as simple as that. Because we're posing. Same thing with over here. Can you read this one? Fa. Rasha, farasha, farasha, a butterfly, a watch or a clock. So, sa'a, 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 a giraffe, zarafa, good job, zarafa. Mada fi gurfati, what's in my room? ما هذا؟ هذا غراب وما هذه؟ هذه زرافة 
وما هذا هذا تمساح فراشة هذه فراشة هذا حصان هذا قرآن ما هذا هذا فنجان ما هذا هذا مفتاح ما هذه هذه ساعة هذه مرآة مرة أخرى هذه فراشة هذا غراب هذه زرافة هذا تمساح هذه مرآة هذا حصان هذا قرآن هذا فنجان هذا مفتاح وهذه ساعة وشكرا لكم